So Netflix CEO Reed Hastings steps down as Netflix CEO. Yes, he's no longer their CEO. I said CEO now like three different times, but he's gone. He, he'll be stepping down. And to be honest, yeah, let's be real. They are in, they're not in a good position. Yeah, you might have NBC, which I should have brought up that article, but NBC and people like that six days ago saying, oh, you know, at the end of quarter four, Netflix looks pretty good. You know, they have decent subscriber numbers. They rose 7.4 billion million. Yeah, 7.4 million subscribers in Q4. Not acknowledging the subscribers they have lost so far. Like, they've lost a lot of subscribers. But because of all, it, this isn't a surprise that Reed Hastings has stepped down. Reed Hastings steps down from his, his role as co-chief executive of Netflix. Hastings is handing over the reins to longtime partner and co-CEO Ted Sarados, Sarados and chief operating officer Greg Peterson, who also becomes co-CEO. His announcement came on the same day that Netflix said that it, grow, it grew said that it grown yeah, yeah that's a typo it grew subscriber numbers more than expected at the end of last year hmm that that makes you wonder huh that that, that makes you really wonder oh we got 7.6 million subscribers our, our revenue rose 7.9 billion dollars so then why is your ceo stepping down hmm why what why would your ceo step down Maybe it has something to do with woke fail Netflix shares plummet more than 50% in 2022. Worst year in more than a decade. Now, this article is from December. Yeah. But let's be real. The, the shows that Netflix wants to push out constantly are your Witcher Blood Origins. Are your That 90 Show. Now, That 90 Show has some nostalgia value, but it's not that good. It's really not. You do have gems. Like, I liked Wednesday. You know, I don't think it was woke, that woke. I thought it was really good. You got Edge Runners. You got Anime. Their anime list is pretty darn good. Witcher, not Witcher. Stranger Things Season 4 was pretty darn good, but it's all outweighed. Cobra Kai, that's all outweighed by Megan and Harry. Whatever this show is. And so many more. They they also this is also a company that tried to bring in revenue with a lower paid ad ad tier system. You know we're gonna implement an ad tier system. It's gonna cost less. People are gonna have to watch ads to watch their shows. It's gonna give us a lot of money. You know this was gonna be something they had to do. Other platforms are doing it. Uh, HBO Max is doing it. Tubi was the one that started doing this. Tubi started off saying, hey, here's your show. Free. Watch an ad. You can pay us if you want. You don't have to. I kind of like that model. I don't mind having to watch an ad. But let's be real. When I'm with Tubi, it's free. I don't have to pay anything. When I pay for Netflix, I don't want to watch an ad. Well, sh shortly after this happened, and this happened November 3rd. I didn't even do a video on it. Shortly after this all happened, literally the next month, Netflix lets advertisers take their money back after missing viewership target. They had to shut down their ad-based tier because nobody was there to watch. Are, are you that surprised? Nobody was watching. So why, so why do it? You take a look at their Netflix stock. Yeah, from 2020, obviously. All the way to just before October of 2021, they were at their peak. Oddly enough, 2022 comes around and all oh, they start dropping. No, they're on the rise. I'm going to give them that. They're on the rise. They do have some good content out there. Vinland Saga. Check out Vinland Saga. It's subbed right now, but it's doing a weekly model. Netflix has implemented their weekly model on some shows, but you're going to have to do that because honestly, the binge model doesn't work. They're not, their stock's rising, but at the same time, they're losing money. They're losing subscribers. And guess what their new big idea is? They're, guess what they're going to do next? Netflix will lose. They're, they're blaming their loss of revenue and stuff 
on the 100 million unpaid accounts and they're planning on implementing the end of ad share of password sharing they're going to end that now about march or so you will no longer have shared platforms so you won't have people coming out talking about it as much you won't have people coming out doing things because when people don't have netflix and are let's be honest we're not in a good times right now we're not in times that allow for things like this to prof to basically exist it's because when you're having to spend buttloads of money on eggs over at the store netflix becomes less of a commodity so people aren't going to be interacting with with that as much so if they don't have to if they had a free system and now you're going to be shutting down the ability to share passwords nobody's going to be watching it they're, they're going to go away the, your biggest fear is coming because covid times are over people are out and about again this era is done but look you know you know what what kind of shows were we getting though at netflix well let's take a look here now i said hey i like wednesday but that's Wednesday that that's not very often oh you had you had dark crystal dark crystal was a success and what did you do with it you canceled it stranger things season four that was good stranger things season three though was crap you you brought a lot of people back I'll give you that I will give you that you brought people back but you've ruined everything else that 90s show it might be doing decent right now people might be watching it but it's not as good it is very much the diversity version of that 70s show it is kind of crappy wednesday i liked it i i admit that you know you, you want to push things like witcher blood origin but you cancel things like dark crystal you want to push the witcher yet you don't have the witcher and your witcher series castlevania castlevania is supposed to be coming out with a new season with a new series where's that pacific rim black two seasons i didn't even finish the first season i got bored with it now, I'll, again, I'll admit it. You have some good shows. I do like Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga Season 2 is running right now on Netflix. But again, if your, an, your anime section is probably your biggest and most profitable section, and it's dwindling. You got some great shows. You got, you got more Bastard coming. Th that's a fun show. That's very hard very hard rock very not uh, appropriate if i for the kids if i do say so but again shows like that are being thrown to the wayside again for like blood origin for the witcher for your viking shows i can scroll through here lost in space sweet tooth i don't know anything about sweet tooth but it just wasn't something i wanted to watch you again you have decent shows you have shows people want to watch but it's outweighed by all your bloat and your crazy content i quit watching disenchanted you still have big mouths over there do i need to go back to the biggest disaster that ever befell netflix <coughs> Cuties. but like i'm i'm also trying to play devil play devil's advocate for netflix i'm giving them some credit they did they, they did Dave Chappelle. They showed a Dave Chappelle show. No, special. Uh, the Closer. The Closer was freaking good. They had Ricky Gervais special. That Ricky Gervais special was fun. Very not PC. And because of the Dave Chappelle special, they fired people. They kicked people out. They said, if you're going to act like this, get lost. So Netflix has done good things. Netflix has cut the fat where they needed to cut the fat but it's being outweighed by still some of the fat you have so when you lose these subscribers you're going to be losing people you're going to be losing viewers these are people these are 100 million viewers now they might be unpaid Let, let's be fair they're, they're not paying but that's 100 million people not watching a show anymore that's 100 million people not watching you, you stranger things that's less viewers on your show and for a subs for netflix where your subscriber numbers and shows that bring in subscribers and when you try to 
pump up those, uh, oh, well, <laughs> which your blood origin had 15 million views in its first day. When you, when you try to do that, well, that's a hundred million people right there. They're not watching your Witcher Blood Origin. They're not watching the shows you want people to be watching and promoting constantly. They're not going to be watching anything at all because they won't have it. And in a time when it's becoming harder to find eggs, Netflix becomes less of a necessity. But let me get your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it out with your friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys. And I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.